Will Robinson, your weekly telegram, the week's uh, highlights and lowlights of what's happening around the country, here in the United States and abroad. Whenever something happens, I try to pick it up, see if there's any humor in it. Well, this week was actually not very humorous week, and for a good reason, because technically the week started back um, on Saturday with the whole um, Tucson, Arizona shooting. Now, I'm from uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I lived there for many years, so I kind of understand a little bit about the whole semantics of the whole gun thing and the gun control and you know I, I, I know some of the things we're talking about uh, this always brings up a good uh, uh, you know good debate when something like this happens although the word good is difficult here um, the, the, the word good in this case is a four-letter word um, it brings up a debate about gun control and who should have them and how they should get them and you know, one of the things I heard about yesterday was someone saying that they're, uh, one of the Congress people is trying to pass a law saying that they can't have the, uh, the clip, the gun that they have is called a Glock, which is a 9 millimeter like that. You see it on TV all the time. They aim it like this, put the sights here. Anyhow, uh, so in any case, they're talking about passing a ban on having, I'm by an airport here in Las Vegas, so bear with me. Anyway, they're talking about putting a ban on having extended clips. So the clip normally would go to here, and the gun's here. And they're talking about banning the clip that goes to here. What? I don't really understand that, because it's kind of odd, because it doesn't matter if there's 30 bullets, one in the chamber, and or 14 bullets. It's still going to kill someone. But anyway, that seems like a lot of time and effort put into something that really seems kind of useless. Maybe they should replace the guns and do a whole ban on like just guns and replace them with like water balloons. All you need is a towel on that one. Anyhow, some of the other stuff that happened this week, of course, the, the memorial was the big thing on um, uh, everybody's hearts and minds this week. Uh, uh, Gabby Giffords, I think it is, with an S. Uh, she opened her eyes, which is great. She's apparently responding quite well. Uh, they're letting her go at her own pace. Um, uh, some of the other things that happened, of course, the president spoke at the actual memorial, which got a, a great reception, and um, so that's that's really good because uh, there's one thing the president is definitely good at, and I don't mean that to be derogatory. I mean he's good at very a lot of good things, uh, but if you're a right person, then <laughs> you're probably going to go with this theory that he's only good at one thing, and that is his speaking. Uh, his speaking when he did the speech. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to put a link on my uh, site so you can see that. His speaking is just just so heartfelt in this and talking about it. And then he mentions that she opened her eyes after he left and so on. And that's a it's a phenomenal speech to listen to. It helps kind of pull the country together and understand a little bit about you know what's happening right now. Now, given that uh, situations like this happen, I always try to find the the good and the bad. And I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, the good in this is that it did start a debate about the different things in regards to gun control, but also started something about um, people talking and uniting and not being partisan about things and being bipartisan and so on. And, you know, it's a little bit like, I like to use the analogy of uh, if you've ever known anybody who's been terminally ill, well, they, um, terminally ill or if they've had a heart attack or something that's life-threatening. Well, I'll tell you what, it's an amazing thing because I've known some people, and I've had a situation in my own life where I was thinking something was not good, and what happens is the next day when you find out something is better, and I mean the next day and just getting good news, um, it liberates you. It, it makes you think about things and look at things differently. Uh, case in point, uh, our show this week uh, that I'm doing here on the Strip in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, we had a chance, and I had a chance to meet um, Edison Pena, I believe it is, one of the miners from the, the Chilean, Chilean miners, uh, an amazing guy, amazing guy. Got a chance to talk to him, hug him, well, talk to him, but he doesn't really speak English, but I'll tell you what, when he hugs you, it's worth a thousand words. Anyway, um, he was just very, very excited, and I'll tell you what, a major Elvis fan. So in any case, uh, the perspective of life is a whole lot different when you're stuck in a hole, and that hole could be metaphorically or just uh, in real. 
Um, anyway, it kind of gave him a, a different outlook, and maybe this, um, you know, this shooting has given us a little bit different outlook, and we can start looking at things differently. Because right now, as you may have read my uh, opening cartoon this week and uh, the, my, my comments, uh, they're reflecting the fact that a lot of fingers have been pointed about this thing, but the fingers that really should have been pointed may should be at the media. The media circus, you know. Beep, 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 beep. They tend to um, kind of blow things out of perspective, make things look a little bit bigger. You know what they say, if it doesn't bleed, it doesn't lead. I used to work at a news station, and many times I've gone up and said, hey, how about a story about this dog that saved the family? And the news director would say, the family's still alive? <laughs> Sorry, can't run it. Anyway, but um, so that's kind of the way the week went, kind of wrapping up here. Oh, my last thing that happened this week is I covered, uh, I decided I wanted to go something kind of brainless, mindless, and, you know, look through the newspaper, try to find things that I can find. I use the USA Today because it, um, you know, in my opinion, it's kind of the Reader's Digest version of news. They give you everything like on one page and they don't make you go to other pages to read the whole story. So that kind of um, is good because our attention spans are really short. You know, we want everything right now. Our new slogan is mom, apple pie, and high speed internet. You know, folks kind of freak out if they can't get uh, good wireless or good internet. Anyway. But the piece I wound up deciding to go with, uh, you know, this week at the end of the week here, is I decided to do a piece on Snooky. Snooky. I didn't know much about Snooky when I decided to write about it, and I still don't know much about her. But I do know that she's, you know, on Jersey Shores, and she wrote a book called The Sure Thing. Sure Thing. Don't worry, folks. It's an easy read, big print, and a lot of four-letter words. Anyway. I decided to write about that, and boy, oh boy, did that spark up a lot of interest. I got a lot of tweets, retweets, I got a lot of Facebook hits, I got a lot of folks saying that, you know, that this is what they think about it. Much to my surprise, a lot of the younger people said, you know what, that's, she's ridiculous, it's, it's a horrible show. And I said, well, you know, it is the top rated show on MTV, I think, that they've ever had. And most of the young people said, well, that's ridiculous, she's ridiculous, and I say to you this. This is one of the things that's happening in our country right now, is the fact is that good quality programming, news reporting, and pretty much anything that's happening on the streets, people are just a little too angry. And, and you know, they're, they're, our, our entertainment is based upon what they call reality TV, which is the farthest thing from it, because if you know anything about it, they usually, if it's not going well enough, they'll throw a little fire on it, like the media. You know, the media is kind of like what I call the rubberneckers. They kind of walk by a, a situation, and if it's not really good, they take their can of gas and they throw it on it and make it big, and then they report it. In any case, it, this is just a call to action to all you folks out there. The key that's missing in our country right now is communication. It's talking, one-on-one. -on -one. I'd much rather be talking to you folks one-on-one -on -one right now than be talking to my iPhone. But um, in any case, it's communication. It's, it's not accepting things that are happening right now in regards to folks getting angry about things. You're blaming your country. You know, when things are good, boy, our country is the best in the world. When things are not good, you're talking about how folks are not running it the right way. And most of the time, it's usually the folks that are saying that are the ones that didn't vote. So anyway, I say to you, communicate. Get out there, talk to folks, do something. Do something good, talk to people, because that's the conversation that needs to happen. You know, it's like talk radio. You know, I say, I say talk radio is the farthest thing from talk radio, because all they do is really yell at you. And in most cases, they're really not letting you speak your mind, which really defeats the purpose of talk radio, unless you want to be renaming it talk at you radio. Anyway, all right, well, if you want to hear any more that's going on with my... Uh, my daily happenings here in Las Vegas, Nevada, around the country. And as a humorist, you can go to my website at willrogersusa.com. That's willrogersusa.com. You can also get me on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash willrogersusa. There's no D in there. Will Rogers, R-O-G-R-S, USA. And then I'm there on Twitter. And Facebook, you can go to Will Roberts, uh, America's favorite cowboy humorist. That's a long one. But check it out. Okay, see you later. Here's some more of my cartoons. Check them out. Here's that video on Obama. All right, get out of here. Have a good week. And be good to someone, especially yourself. <laughs>